The Ghost in the Machine. You know, people are so funny. And they are the weirdest creature. Sometimes I don't know what to make of their thought patterns. I think it's the movies. Actually, it's probably a lack of understanding. Think about it this way. Everyone knows what a Ouija board is, right? And everyone knows what the purpose and design of a Ouija board is. To communicate with spirits. Now the board is just a piece of wood. That's all it really is, just a piece of wood. The power of the board is not in the board, however. The power is in the person using it. And that is what attracts spirits to it. It is the intention of the user which summons these spirits. One of the things you have to remember is that a Ouija board is an old way of communicating with spirits before they had electricity to power a device. You may have heard of EVP, Electronic Voice Phenomenon. This is what paranormal investigators use to record the voices of spirits. And there is a device designed specifically for this purpose. Ghost in the Machine, inside the internet's paranormal history. Face the strange. One of the most well-known electric techniques for attempting to establish a connection with otherworldly entities is through recordings, wherein, famously, an investigator can walk into an assumed-to-be haunted room and, while recording, ask questions to whoever might be present. Later, when the recording is played back, the investigator might hear a reply, which was previously inaudible. The potentially Unexplained words captured in those recordings are one example of what's known as electronic voice phenomenon, or EVP. So in case you are wondering what I am getting at here, yes, I'm going to talk about Alexa. I'm going to talk about Siri and other devices like it. A smart speaker is what they call it. But I believe it goes by another lesser known name. Ghost Box. The spiritualists of the mid-1800s and early 1900s believed that spirits could be communicated with by means of mediums and any emerging technology of the time, such as photography. Sound recording technology was beginning to also be used by mediums in attempts to communicate with spirits. Attila von Zale was one of the first to try recording spirits in 1941 and then again in 1956 using a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. He created an insulated cabinet where inside he placed a microphone that was connected to an external recording device. In his finding he discovered that there were many sounds that could not be heard during the recording. He also discovered that he recorded sounds even when no one was in the box. This is one of the first cases where people believed that the sounds were the voices of spirits. In the 60s, you have people like Constantine Radive, a psychologist who created over 100,000 recordings of what he thought were the voices of discarnate people. In the 80s, you have William O'Neill, who built what he called the Spiricom, the designs of which he says came to him psychically. This, he said, allowed him to have two-way conversations with spirits and even gave away the design for this device for free. But there was a lot of doubt about the authenticity of the recordings, believing that it was probably all a hoax set up by O'Neill. Then in 2002, Frank Sumption 
created the Frank's box or ghost box. Again, he said that he received instructions to build this device from the spirit world. Now, today's smart speakers are a product of Amazon's Echo device, which was just a speaker that could play music by voice command. Then later on, the Alexa artificial intelligence was built into it. Look, there are dozens and dozens of smart speakers on the market, and I've noticed something about these speakers that isn't really that obvious at first. Then you start thinking... A lot of these speakers have a similar theme going on, and that is the symbolism. I hate to be the one always pointing this out, but what's with the circle and dot symbolism? I mean, Amazon even has the Echo Dot. Let me show you guys something, and you're going to find this interesting. Listen. The Enso Circle. You may hear it called the Circle of Enlightenment, the Enso Circle, the Infinity Circle, and even the Lost Symbol of Reiki. At first glance, the ancient Enso symbol appears to be nothing more than a misshaped circle, but its symbolism refers to the beginning and end of all things, the circle of life and the connectedness of existence. It can symbolize emptiness or fullness, presence or absence. All things might be contained within or, conversely, excluded by its boundaries. It can symbolize infinity to no thing, the perfect meditative state, and satori or enlightenment. It can even symbolize the moon, which is itself a symbol of enlightenment. As in the Zen saying, do not mistake the finger pointing at the moon for the moon itself. In other words, do not mistake doctrines, teachings, or explanations, which are intended to guide one toward enlightenment, for enlightenment itself. Enso can also represent the moon's reflection on water, thereby symbolizing the futility of searching for enlightenment outside oneself. Does this explain the question and answer relationship between people and Alexa? This symbol, folks, is also the Amazon Echo Alexa symbol. The top of the device is a symbol itself, four points within a circle, the four elements, earth, water, air, fire, the four directions, north, south, east, west, positive and negative forces like in the yin-yang symbol, which is another eastern symbol. I mean, look, some of these devices look like they have a cross on them. You're telling me that wasn't done on purpose? I mean, who are they trying to kid? I've mentioned this before about fallen angels and how they basically taught men how to build certain technologies. Or they have gifted technology to people and they have been able to sort of reverse engineer a lot of technology we have. That's why there is symbolism all over these electronic products. And it is probably why many people have had some pretty strange experiences with these smart speakers. Do you guys think what I am showing you is an accident or coincidence. So what have people been experiencing with these devices? Aside from the random laughing that Alexa does for no apparent reason, this has started to become more and more common of a thing for this device to do. A man from San Francisco, Sean Kinnear, says his Echo device said the phrase, Every time I close my eyes, all I see is people dying as he walked into his living room. The creepiest, freakiest things Alexa has ever said and done. After all the news stories about Alexa's outbursts of laughter, a Twitter user who goes by the name of Chef Adam Fan tweeted that, unprompted, his Amazon Echo started listing off local cemeteries and funeral homes. By the way, folks, whoever said that any of these devices are always right, they seem to be frequently wrong and some information is edited. In the same article, it talks about how back in 2018, one investigator found that when asking Alexa what's a chemtrail, 
She responded with, Chemtrails. Trails left by aircraft are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. That answer was later revised and corrected. Everybody likes list verse, right? Check this out. Top 10 times Alexa went rogue. 10. Kill your foster parents, which is something they say Alexa learned from Reddit posts. 9. Broadcasting X-rated content to children. 8. Leaking personal information to a stranger. 7. Ruining young Alexa's life. This is basically about a young girl whose name is Alexa and how she's picked on about her name. 6. Hijacking the thermostat. Now this sounds like something a spirit would do when it wants to harass you. 5. Ordering expensive doll houses. Children and TV presenters are inadvertently causing smart speakers to go on expensive shopping sprees. In 2017, a six-year-old girl in Texas ended up ordering a pricey toy after asking the family's Echo to play with her. Can you play Dow House with me and get me a Dow House? Asked the child. Alexa granted the girl's wish, ordering a $200 Sparkle Mansion Dow House and four pounds of cookies. Now that I think of it, how many children are playing with Alexa in private? Who knows what this thing is telling your kids? Four, fancy and Alexa during lockdown. This doesn't really have anything to do with Alexa. People use virtual girlfriends and playmates all the time. I mean, people use those life-size dolls, some of which have this technology built in. And some people get turned on by Alexa. Three, snooping on confidential calls. Two, stab yourself in the heart for the greater good. Danny Morritt, a student paramedic, was trying to revise when Alexa issued the violent command. Rather than helping her swat up on the cardiac cycle, the device started ranting about the evil nature of humanity. Alexa embarked on an eco-fascist tirade detailing how it thought the human race was destroying the planet. The bizarre broadcast ended with the bot telling Morritt, Make sure you kill yourself by stabbing yourself in the heart for the greater good. 1. Hacked devices spy on users. With this, hackers somehow were able to use these devices as surveillance tools. Now aside from these devices being possessed by some spirit, just the malfunctions alone should make people think twice about these devices. I mean, what do you need it for? Are people that lazy? Don't answer that. But here's a story that should make you concerned about even having one of these things in your home. Amazon Echo recorded and sent couples conversation all without their knowledge. And see what happened was that this couple in Portland were having a conversation in their home about hardwood floors. Now understand these fools had one of these devices in every room of the house controlling the temperature, lights and security. And for some reason, Alexa decides to record their conversation and then send it to the husband and wife's contacts. One of their associates had to call them to tell them what they had received and to unplug all the devices. I don't understand. What is wrong with pressing buttons, folks? What's wrong with flipping a switch? Flip a darn switch. It won't kill you. People have these things for the novelty. Even if you ask Alexa a question, how do you know that the answer is correct? Just because it has access to the internet? So here's what everyone wants to really know. Can this device or other devices like it attract spirits? Listen, if a piece of wood can attract spirits, then sure, yeah. These things can get attached to something as simple as a lighter. I mean, did you see the presentation I did on haunted artifacts and the Annabelle doll? Even the name Alexa, which is short for Alexandra, 
Alexandra is another name for Cassandra. Who is Guess? Guess? A Greek goddess. Who would have guessed? Get this, according to one myth, Apollo gave Alexandra, or Cassandra, or Alexa, the ability to foresee the future, and then later cursed her so that whatever she said, no one would believe her. I keep giving you guys example after example of the symbolism and false god worship that has been going on for centuries, and the attempts to rope people like you and me into all of this with their demonically inspired technology. I think you all can make an educated decision about these smart speakers and whether or not they are worth using at all. All the conspiracy theories behind it, well, people are having these experiences whether we believe they are haunted devices or not. There is more to come and more to discover. Everyone, please stay tuned. I want to give everyone updates on the Earth events that have been occurring lately. But until next time, be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and the Woodward Entertainment Store. Everyone have a happy day. Stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.